Uh, this is going to be quick. I'm going to put a copy of this to my boosted laser. For those of you that are not flashlight people and don't own a real flashlight, I'm not talking about a dollar store. And please don't tell me you have a flashlight on your phone. Uh, there is a deal going on right now, a flash sale that I can make even better by 50%, which is insane. All you have to do, so you just go to throughnight.com. In advance, I do not work for throughnight. I don't own the company. I don't have any friends there. I don't know a single person. I use them in personally for some situations because they're a solid light. Don't tell me you can go to Amazon and type in flashlight and get 750 million lumens for $4. You're buying garbage and it's a lie. As someone that has tested, I used to run a flashlight form thousands of good lights costing between back in the day twenty dollars as much as several thousand this is a high quality light i wouldn't say it's what the kids call s tier but it's certainly a tier but the bang for the buck on this with the sale for twenty dollars is insane in my opinion, every person, man and woman, should own this light. This thing is teeny. Now, I will tell you, holding it in my hand and seeing it in my friend's hand, I have some of these. It is way smaller than this. I'm going to guess this is a small Asian woman in this picture that's like four foot nine. Because on me, I don't know, it's like my trigger finger. Th this picture doesn't represent how small this thing is. Uh, even at, I don't know, Amy is five foot four. It looks 40 or 50 percent smaller than this. So it's really tiny. This light doesn't make sense. Now, I'm making this version of this vid for the lay person, not for the guys on my tactical channel and my gear channel this is for you regular people this light is ridiculously bright like your car high beams on high bright stupidly high high um this is fully regulated which essentially means after a short initial burst this will stay the same brightness until the battery's about to die what I mean by that is if your dad or even you had an old school flashlight with a bulb, like a mag light, you turn it on and it's always dimming, 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 dimming constantly. Uh, even a few minutes after you turn on, it's yellowy and really not that bright. This, through magic, <laughs> is freaking amazing. Uh, they will not tell you this, but I'm telling you this. The battery that comes with this is over spec If this thing was a car, it's a Mustang with a 900 horsepower motor, brand new, except instead of costing 40000 it's three grand. That would be the equivalent. This is an insane, ridiculous uh, deal. If you're not a flashlight person, <laughs> like me and some other people this light as tiny as it is i promise you is better than anything that that you have seen or that you own or anyone you know owns this is a freaking lightsaber i promise you non-light people if you go out when it's actually dark you know 9, 10, 11, 12, or whatever in the morning, and you click this sucker on high or turbo, you're going to get a smile on your face. Like, how is this possible? So much light comes out of this thing, you're going to think it's magic or an alien gave it to you. Now, those of you that think, my phone has a light and it's bright, no it isn't. This is a hundred times that. This is a thousand times that. It's 
I'm trying to, and again, I don't, I'm not giving you a link. I don't get anything out of this. Sometimes I see deals when I test stuff, and this is one of those times this item is insane. You should buy this. I will give you the code, and you will get this half off. I don't know what the shipping is, but a couple of dollars. It's worth it. Should you own this? Yes. If <laughs> I don't know, you could message them how long this flash sale is for. For all I know, it ends today. It could be a week. I really don't know, but I would message them, although it's the weekend now. Um, this is a great gift for anyone that you know, guy or girl, even if they're not a light person. This will tuck in a pocketbook, in a pocket, on a belt, on your shirt. It's extremely light. There's some people on the stream going crazy. Um, what makes it not S tier? This is still going by that scale in A. Um, this is too long to go into. But what I will tell you is this is still A tier. Uh, a couple of years ago, what I could count on one hand, maybe two hands, this light was impossible. Um, several years ago, this would have cost $150. The fact that you can get it for 20 bucks plus shipping, it doesn't make any sense. The only downside, one tiny downside, it is not USB. Now they have a new version, I'm not going to get into it, called a T1S. I don't like it as much, quite honestly. And I personally wouldn't buy the newer version. This does not use uh, USB-C. It's an old school connector um, that they supply. I might, if it's possible, even try to buy a second one, but that's me. Even if it's five or six dollars, I would buy a second cord from them for this light. Don't tell me, but I have that cord. No, you don't. <laughs> Take Fast Car's word for it. If you can, get a spare cord. Just because if you ever break or lose the other one, maybe you want to keep one at home and you want to have one in your pocketbook, your bug out bag, whatever. I'm always a fan of having two or more cords uh, for things. And again, don't say you have your own cord. You want to use the one for them, from them. Anyway, uh, if there's a decent question, yes, they're warranted um, of, I don't know how many I've owned and given away as gifts. I had one small customer service issue. There was no phone tag. There was no issues. They just took care of it. I know one other guy, I wouldn't say a friend, but an acquaintance, in the military who had a little issue and they took care of him too no bullshit this is not a fly-by-night super chinesey company on amazon you never heard of this is a known brand in the flashlight world um how much does it weigh like nothing it's it's nothing. If you put it on your shirt pocket, on a, on a necklace, you're not even going to feel it. Um, I have a mini mag light 2AA that's pretty bright. This is a hundred times that. A thousand times that. It's insane. I'm telling you, if you're not a light person that doesn't screw around with expensive, high-powered military lights all day long... Right? If you think your phone is bright or something you got that's plastic with a couple of D batteries or something, this is ridiculous. They, this may, You'll show all your friends. I would say if this is going to be around, get some before it runs out. And if for Christmas, for a birthday, for a gift, for a boyfriend, girlfriend, your parents, whoever, at this price, you should absolutely get some of these as gifts this is a badass if i didn't have a cool light and someone gave me this i would be tickled pink as they say 
This is a fast car approved item. I should make a video of shit I'm interested in. And this is my highest recommendation. Bang for the buck. Can you get a slightly better light? Slightly, yes. Can you get it for $20? Nope, you're looking at 60 something to hundreds. Um, below 50, you're not getting something as good. Yeah, why is it on flash sale? They have newer models, but in this one case, I like the old one better, this one. The only caveat is it has the old charging cable, and you're going to want to use their cable in most cases. The short answer is normal, what is that called, mini or micro USB? Mini? Um, their cable is slightly longer, the metal part that plugs in, than the average USB cable. Unless you have, you know, the proverbial hundred of them in a drawer. <clears throat> I know me personally, and I have a big one-gallon Ziploc bag of USB. Most of mine uh, are not long enough to charge this. Um, but I do have a few, and they're barely in there. Like, you can't charge it and wiggle it around and use it like a lasso. It'll fall out. But the cord they have is specifically longer, and there's no problem, which is why I told you, can you look at the website and see, can you get a spare cord? Um... You would have to contact them. Uh, clearance discontinued. Someone said, can you get a spare battery? Um, yes, this is actually a good price. Now, if this is your primary light, um, and your only good light, and you're going to use this for power failures and, you know, around the house, I would absolutely, even at full price, you might be able to get a code uh, for these. You won't get these half off, but you might be able to get a code uh, for these in a separate order. But even at this price, $10 a battery is steel. You could charge them up. It might even come with this little case and you're set. And you have many, 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 many hours. Um, yes, it's rechargeable. How long does it take? Uh, it depends how depleted the battery is. Um, I don't see looking easily... But I would contact them or call. Hopefully this goes... So right now it's uh, 4-27-2024. I'm hoping this flash sale is not over, you know, today or tomorrow. I'm hoping it lasts a week or something or maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe till it's the end of the month. But do not wait around because when this is gone, you, you'll never get this deal again. Uh, do you like this better than Phoenix and Olight? In general, or Phoenix, I like Phoenix better in most cases on most lights. They are an S-tier company. They're an S-tier company. But you're paying, in general, three to five times as much for a similar light. And with this has, you can't get anything at Phoenix for $20.00. The only thing even close would be, actually, this one exact light, um, they, they don't even have in Phoenix. All the other lights that, oops, that these guys sell, um, you know, Phoenix and other companies have some kind of equivalent, but this exact light, 
This is a hot rod. No other company has something this much power that that's th this this is such a flash lady thing that none of you know. The electronics in here are amazing. The brightness that this can do for the amount of time is unbelievable. It doesn't make any sense and it's not hype. Uh, a lot of companies lie or exaggerate. This has been tested by flashlight wackos worldwide. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, what's the trick to... N n no trick. It's a standard... If, if you have a normal, you know, battery charger made for lithium batteries, you could do that. But the onboard charging is easy. As long as you have the special cord... Um, Do you have to? Well, the good thing about getting the spare batteries is if you put this in your bug out bag, um, even if you don't have the cord, if you're carrying the two spare batteries that weigh like an ounce, this is, and they're tiny. And me, the batteries are like the first digit of my middle finger. Not even, my finger is actually thicker. Granted, you know, I'm a Bigfoot, but yeah. And with the three batteries, you have insane run time. Now, I won't get into the, the glass alone. None of you know anything about glass, the, the lens. But this has like hunter level and military level anti-reflective coated uh, ultra clear, not all glass is as clear, clear as you think, and it's toughened. This glass alone, I bet if you bought it by itself, is $20. Just for the glass. It's crazy. Yeah, and the battery is, by other companies, probably close to 10 bucks for one that's this good. And this battery is actually better than it says. Now, they're not going to tell you this. But I know this because I tested it. The battery's not an 1100. It's about a 1350 milliamp, which means it lasts longer. So this tells you it has a strobe and a firefly. This just 0.5 lumens. There's weirdos that like this. I don't personally. I've never used it. Um, you might not even be able to see this in the daylight. If it's pitch black, I mean bliggity black, not even necessarily outside, um, because the moonlight and just ambient light from the closest city is going to drown this out. But if you're in a warehouse in your room in somewhere where it's actually dark, in a tent that's dark camping and there's no full moon, <laughs> you can kind of see five, five lumens. In, in the dark, 15 lumens is brighter than you think. Now, people are always hung up and going the brightest possible. You could absolutely walk a dog in the woods at night with 15 lumens if you have normal eyes in the actual dark. If it's kind of twilight, that's not so bright. Inside your house at night, 15 lumens is amazing. And it runs 35 hours. This is crazy. If you get a double A light by any brand, you're not doing a quarter this brightness for 10% as long. This is crazy. Yeah, this does about 700 lumens for 65 minutes. Can you get a bigger light that lasts longer? Absolutely. But this thing is smaller than my trigger finger. It's teeny tiny. It's like, I'm telling you, if your average person is going to think that this is alien technology, it doesn't make any sense. If this is your only good, cool light, if you can afford it, get the spare batteries for that price. It's nice to have them even if you rarely use it. Even if you just carry one in your pocketbook or your EDC bag, your sling, whatever, maybe you have a you know, like an organizer pouch. It's the size of one digit of your finger. 
And then you have another... Right. I mean, 120 minutes, more than that, of light is a long time. Um, all right, so I didn't want this to be this long, but so what happens with this turbo is this will start off at 1500 lumens, which is insane bright for like a minute or so. It's a little burst. Let's say you're carrying it with you on your belt, in your pocket. You just hold it in your hand. You can put it on the keychain. And you're walking through a parking lot, and maybe there's someone coming at you. You blast someone in the face with 1,500 lumens. You don't need a minute. You need about two seconds. They don't want any part of you. They are leaving in most cases unless they're highly drugged. This don't say I've seen lights or uh, my friend has a little keychain light with a frog on it this is not that <laughs> this is the Sun 15 you can be down at the end of your block and turn this on and someone a block away is gonna go I looked at something brighter than the Sun this is redunculous bright so what happens is it starts out at 1500 it goes, I don't know, something like a minute. I'd have to look at my records. And then it will slowly go down to 408. 408 lumens, even 350, is bright as a mother effer. Right. But if you're going to do this, why not just turn it here, which runs a little bit longer, right? Right. So this is for a burst. You, you drop something on the ground in the woods while camping in a parking lot. You're going to find it. But honestly, you're going to find it with this too. Uh, the, the main reason, not just does 1500 suck up the battery very quickly, but it gets hot. This light will get a little bit warm as it goes, you know, stays at 1500 for a while. And to not burn up and melt, it turns the power down. Yes, it, it manages the heat. When it's colder out, the winter, um, it probably runs a little bit longer at 1500. I mean really cold. And when it's the summer, it's probably half a minute or a minute. But this is for bursts, little bursts. Right. This, it holds... For, a, for about an hour, and that is legit. It has a very slight uh, higher lumens when you start, and then it settles in, yeah, somewhere around here, around 700, 685. Now, keep in mind, if you're not using it, can you change? Wait, what are you asking, ma'am? Can... You change a tire, well, this, yeah, it doesn't take an hour to change a car tire, 100%. But that's the beauty of the spare battery. But yes, you absolutely could, even if it's your first time ever, it should be under an hour. All right, I want to end this one or two more quick questions. What does it say, infinity? Okay, so... A lot of these good lights have stages. For example, high, medium, and low. They may have three, six, a hundred. <laughs> um, some lights have a variable, like a rheostat. Not one person here knows what that is. Um, think of a volume knob, except this is light, where you can have low volume and then turn the knob... Uh, wherever you want you know you could have it all the way up you could have it half you can just vary wherever you want right the volume this is like an electronic volume knob for light uh, very easily you don't need to be a rocket scientist to do it you can have 15 lumens up to 685 there you can vary it wherever you want it you just it, it'll slow it'll start at 15 and go up 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 and when you decide how much you want you can stop it and it'll stay there and if you shut it off I'm pretty sure it remembers that number maybe you don't need 685 
right? And the more you use, the more the battery gets used. What if you have it... Oh, I see. So he or she or them is asking, what if you have it at 300? 300 is insanely bright. I don't know. You probably get three hours or something at 300. Yeah. What's the secret? Wait, what's the secret to know how many lumens you need? If it was me, I would just put it as bright as I need and leave it there, you know, at your given distance. Let's say, for whatever reason, you're in your room, the power's out, and you want to read a book, right? Do you need 1,500 to read a book? Nope. Do you need 600? Nope. Yeah, I'll answer that in a moment. I, I saw you, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer S. Um, you, 15 might be fine, depending if you're holding the light or you have it clipped. Yes, I will answer that also, Jennifer S. Yeah, so, yeah, for just reading, 15 might, is probably fine. 15 is way brighter than you would think. What's wrong with the phone battery uh, flashlight? Well, and, and I won't forget you, Jennifer. Uh, if there's an emergency, be it a power failure, earthquake, alien attack, Russia, China, North Korea, whatever it is, right? Your phone is your lifeline. And if you don't have battery backup like me and solar generators like me and eight power banks like me, that's all you got. Right, And when your phone goes, that's it. No more phone. So you certainly don't want to waste your phone battery using the flashlight. Right? It's cool for a tiny little emergency, but you should never count on that light because the phone is going to save your life. And this is a measly $20 if plus shipping would have, I don't know. I don't know what it costs. Maybe $5 in the U.S., I, I, I just remember they don't, they don't rape you. Okay, Jennifer S., what did you ask? How long, the it was three things. How long the charge? Not that long, even if it was, let's call it dead, which you shouldn't let it go dead. You should charge it as much as possible, uh, like a phone. Uh, there's a light on it that tells you. Uh, can you drop it? I mean, I wouldn't drop it. Um, these things are types of lights are generally somewhat tough. If it falls, uh, you know, out of your pocket or with your arm down by your side on the carpet or something, nothing's going to happen. If you drop it on rocks or concrete, I wouldn't do it too many times. They are tough. It's possible, but not easy to break the glass. Um, I've never dropped a flashlight in my, or phone in my entire life. Um, what else did Jennifer S. ask? Are my friends going to be... My, my girlfriend's going to be jealous. Yes, when they see this thing, it's crazy. They will ask you to turn it on just because it's amazing to them. Like, it's mind-blowing like a magic trick. How is that possible? It's like you putting your hand in your pocket and pulling out uh, a friendly, full-size tiger who walks around and does tiger things. And then you can just magically put it back in your pocket. That's how insane this thing is. Uh, I forgot what you said, Jennifer. What were your two... Is it easy to adjust? Yep, it takes a second. How long to learn to work it? I don't know. If you've never used lights like this in your life, 30 seconds and you'll remember it forever. Does this can Oh, you asked, does it candle stand? Yes, so you can put this on the counter if you want to think of it upside down, right? So, like, oh, they have a picture like this. And what will happen, she asked technically, this will shoot up and hit the ceiling, bounce bounce off, and it will be like you have a light on. Now, if it's really dark and there's no moonlight coming through a window, or you're in a room that doesn't have windows, 
you don't even need 700 lumens to illuminate. Yeah, you could leave it there as, yeah, whatever mode you want. All right, that was your first question. Yes, it has a double pocket clip, so you could carry it multiple ways. Yes, it will go on your belt or your pants. You can put this inside a pocket. So just think about this up, you know, opposite of this, right? And yeah, this is a deep clip. So you could put this in your pocket. And no one, no one would see it like a jeans pocket or a shirt pocket. And the tiniest, tiniest bit would stick out. <clears throat> um, how do you change the battery? Oh, it just unscrews like any super easy and fast it takes uh, three seconds to change the battery um is there a picture let's see yes there is so opposite of the button here which has lights behind it by the way um is where the cord goes there's a little rubber cap that you just lift you know move out of the way and then that's where the plug goes in and there's lights under here and when you plug it in, if the battery needs charging, it'll be red. And when it's done, it turns blue. So it's super easy to know when it's uh, charged. All right. I want this to be five minutes as usual. It's a half hour. Anything else you know, no, need to know? No. Buy it. You will not regret it. $20. This is one of the steals of a lifetime. I really should make a list of fast car... <laughs> Um, can you clip it outside of your pocketbook? I don't know. It depends how it's configured. Do you have a little... None of you know what Molly or Pals webbing is. But if you have a... I hate to use this word. Tactical type backpack, sling pack, fanny pack that has Molly webbing. Yeah. Or, you know, Pals webbing. I doubt one of you knows what the fuck that is. But yes, this will clip right on. But by all means, you can put this on a shirt pocket in your pocketbook. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll take one more if I see it in 20 seconds. And if it's a worthy question. Would your boyfriend, I'm not going to count this one, yes. Any of you women that have any reason to get your man a gift, unless you know he has a really cool light that he sh brags about and you've seen him use, buy him one of these and he will love your ass. He'll be like, damn, this is cool. Like I said, if this was a car, this is a new Mustang that's 900 horsepower. This is a hot rod that's ridiculous. Uh, I have no connection with him, as I said in the beginning. I would absolutely, if it's possible, get a spare cord. If they want $60 for it, I wouldn't do it. Right. But if it's a couple of bucks, I would. Or at the very least, just get those two backup batteries. How long do the batteries last? Um, I'm not going to go in the hour discussion about modern lithium batteries what i will tell you is there are a few rules of thumb if you don't completely let it go dead and recharge it east I'm, I'm gonna just do this the easy way just guessing right if you let it go dead and recharge it every time you might get 500 times that works and you go, only 500? There's so many days in a year. Are you going to kill the bat? You might go weeks before you would even use 100% of the battery, you know, depending, depending what you're using it for. So let's just say it's 500 times from charge to fully dead and recharged. However, if you only let it get half dead, right? Let's say you use it, whatever, for walking your dog for... 10, 20, 30 minutes, right? If it's not on 
super high, which lasts more than that anyway, and you recharge it when it's halfway. If you recharge it when it's halfway, instead of 500 times, it might last 2,000. If you only use it for 10 minutes, right, at the most, every day, it might go 5,000 times. And if you have spare batteries, which are not, it's, it's going to last probably your whole life. Or it's many, many, many years. All right, I want to end this here. Of course, if you have any questions, you can hit me up on the bottom. Yes, I do. This is, it's, it's a crazy hot rod. And for $20, you know, for that, I'll, I'll use them as, none of you fish. <laughs> I'll use them for weight for fishing. I'll throw them at people that annoy me. Is it bright enough to stop an attacking dog? Yes, 100% this is bright enough to stop an attacking dog that's coming at you in the night or in the twilight. Uh, you don't think that works? Go to, go to YouTube right now and type in flashlight versus dog and you'll see what a modern light can do. Do not get a light that looks like this. Don't go to Amazon. You can buy it, but you're not going to get this price. Right. Okay. And, oh yeah. Okay, I had to pause for a second. Okay, here is the code. S-F-S. -S. That's all you have to do. When you just, you know, put what you want in there. And then it's going to ask for coupons, and you type SFS, and you will get half off. They also have another light, for those of you that might need one. <laughs> At half off, this is a steal. If nothing else, this is cool. You can find out the uses for this, for a UV light. You can detect all kinds of secret things for ten dollars it uses a common aa battery and this is very very high quality it even does something else that probably legally they can't tell you but if you get one and you're not just wasting my time i will tell you what the other secret use is yeah you could probably get in trouble for telling people but uh, for the lousy 10 bucks with the sale, you should grab one of these two. All right, I'm going to end here. Any questions, you can just message me in the bottom. Legend. In advance, grrr, this added time and pain into my ass to my life, but I wanted to be thorough. Uh, I believe it was Jennifer that had multiple question, and I didn't answer one. They swear this is going to be short. Someone that is a light person asked, how do I keep it from accidentally turning on in my pocket? Uh, clipped onto my bag and inside my pocketbook, whatever, etc. Two ways. It has a lockout. What that means is there is a simple way that you learn in three seconds to make it not turn on accidentally you can lock it off and then you can unlock it it's rather quick and fast and it's very easily done real light people do it a different way we slightly loosen you know where you put the battery in you know so you'll have what i'll call fully tight where you keep it when you're using it you turn it a quarter or a half a turn looser which will mechanically disconnect it so it absolutely can't turn on and because you've loosened it a quarter or a half a turn the head isn't going to go flying off on you or anything like that and then when you need it you just tighten it a quarter or a half a turn it's literally that easy. I won't go into why in a half hour story, but I prefer to manually just loosen the cap. Yeah, like a quarter, a half a turn, whatever it is. And someone's going to ask, how do I know when it's loose enough? Because you turn it on and then you start, yeah, loosening the cap. And when the light goes off, that means you've disconnected it. Now, at first, you know, you might grab for the light when you need it. Oh, it's not turning on because you didn't remember you loosened it. After you use it 
one or two times you will never ever forget in a million years so that's it now i gotta edit and do a bunch of stuff uh because yeah she seems like a nice person uh super fast this is a graph when i told you about the turbo and how it starts off brighter and because of heat it gets less bright and to not suck all the battery up this red line is the temperature this is quite warm here so you start off at really it's close to 1600 lumens even though they tell you it's less yeah it's around 1600 it's bright and it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer the way your eyes work you probably wouldn't even notice this happening over the course of whatever a minute and a half yeah and then it'll settle at about 700 for um yeah about 40 minutes and then the battery is starting to take a dump now as you see on this graph here this is 700 and here just guessing i don't know let's call it 650 and you might go oh it's dip. your eyes can't detect that you won't know when this is happening you really won't won't know until this point and it gives you a little bit of emergency when you see you know when it's super bright for 45 minutes or whatever for, let's call it 40 minutes and then all of a sudden it's half as bright you know that battery is about to die now this is several minutes you won't be left in the dark at which point i would turn it off right and back on maybe at 15 lumens which it will even with the battery let's call it 95 percent dead if you go to the 15 lumen mode you probably still have another hours several hours i'm just guessing when i got to this point and it was crapping out if i had the spare battery at this point i would uh put a spare battery in personally or even at the 40 minute mark if you happen to have a watch or whatever or sooner you know let's say you need yeah let's say you need 45 minutes or even an hour i would probably change it around me personally around a half hour and put a fresh battery in and if you didn't need this, I would run it on high instead of turbo. High is going to run this without this. And believe me, 700 lumens is insane. The flashlight that your dads or grandfathers had, every cop and military in the world, not all that long ago, like a mag light, was this many lumens. Right? And, we, and they thought that was bright. When they came out with 100, minds were blown. As much as if you woke up and there was a spaceship in your driveway. And now we have this. This is insane, ridiculous overkill. You don't need this to change a car tire. You need, hell, you could get away with this. And at this, at 100, you probably run, oh, I don't even know. 12 hours i really really stupidly long even this six hours i don't know long and you can easily you can change you can do a lot even at this point all right so i just wanted to answer a question manually lock out your light or believe me you're gonna have it in your pocket clipped on your belt here there in your pocketbook it's gonna turn on and kill the battery what do you do you lock it out with the with the little secret code which you'll learn when you buy the light or you just loosen the cap whatever half a turn and you'll be fine now i gotta waste another 20 minutes because i felt bad not answering your question all right and hey if you get one of these if you think about it and you're from boosted laser message me and tell me what you thought when you first turned it on in the dark or in the comments here or in my Discord. All right.